one of our own, Honorable Mr. Howard Maxwell, our representative, is going to present some other assistance grants to us. All right. Let's start. <laughs> Uh, a couple of things. Mr. Chairman, when you asked for the vote, I started to raise my hand while ago. It nearly went up. Uh, we still miss you. Well, thank you. And I miss you. Well, <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> and, and Madam Superintendent, i got to ask that this one probably wasn't on the bus you were riding, was it? It was, mm -hmm. but okay. I don't think it would have been next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and another note, congratulations again to Tracy. I, I go to church with her, a fine, fine lady, and we do have a, a really good one here. Uh, but it's my privilege to come tonight uh, as one of the representatives of Holland County to make a couple of uh, local assistance grant presentations. Local assistance grants are requests made from municipalities, counties, local government authorities, regional development centers, school or school districts. Uh, Nonprofit and private entities are not eligible for local assistance grants. Uh, these are requested by a member of the delegation of the county. Uh, somebody comes to us and says we need, we'd like to see about some funds for a particular need in the county. Have a form they fill out, uh, we present it, and we try to get uh, unanimous consent from the delegation. And I'd like to say that tonight I'm presenting this on behalf of uh, Speaker Glenn Richardson, myself, Senator Bill Hamrick, and Senator Bill Heath. And I've uh, never had a situation where we haven't agreed on pr proposing or presenting and going forward with these grants. Uh, grants are graded on the following areas, community benefit, economic, develop, economic development, ongoing operational cost, local cost sharing, and how it promotes civic or personal responsibility. Uh, we have to present these, we go before a committee that hears these grants, they grade them, and then they vote to move forward or not in, in, in these circumstances. But tonight I'm uh, privileged to present two uh, grants that Paulding County Schools have received. One of them is for a $16,000 grant. And Dr. David Work uh, submitted this, did the paperwork on it, I guess, with some help from others, but he did a great job. A lot of details. And uh, it was uh, voted to be approved. And this is to uh, assist with security enhancements for our school systems. So we have $16,000 coming in. I know we'll be used for security cameras and uh, monitors or, or whatever we need in our schools. So we're proud to agree to present that one. We also have a $10,000 grant that is uh, presented to the Pollen County Board of Education to purchase, or to help purchase and work in a field house locker room for East Pollen High School. So I'm proud to be able to make that uh, presentation tonight on behalf of the Pollen County delegation. And let me tell you, I appreciate what all of you folks do here in the school system. I know this is not an easy job, and I know y'all have to put up with a lot of our things that come down from the state. We're trying to do a better job at that. We won't always please you and everything, but uh, I'm glad we can work together on this and uh, try to do what we can for our students. So thank you all for allowing me to be here tonight. We're to represent Paul McCann in our school system. 